Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing your May predictions. Um, this is something that I wanted to do. I'm going to be doing it, you know, until we all get back to some kind of normality. Probably in May I'll do June, um, but I think it's kind of good for me to do this because a lot of people have questions a lot of my rays of light a lot of new people that are on my channel I want to welcome you to my channel and take a moment to say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that red subscribe button and also uh, be sure to hit the notification bell icon to make sure that it is on all so that way you can be part of the notification gang and be <laughs> be informed of all the videos that Ray um uploads on his channel all the time or whenever I go live. I also want to say that um, if you are not following me on Instagram, it's at Psychic Medium Ray. Go ahead and follow me there. I will be having some giveaways that I'm going to be holding uh, very soon again. Um, so um, as I tune into the energy, what I feel is like President Trump is very exhausted. I do get that there's a, a lot of other things that are on his mind right now in addition to the coronavirus. But um, it feels like he is amping up and getting ready for the election um, in November. And so I feel like we're going to see um, a lot of the other staff members that have been part of his team um, kind of take a little bit more control and maybe be more of the people that are the front, you know, in front of the giving us briefings uh, weekly or daily, however that goes into May. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry for that. I probably won't be editing that out, but I had some allergies. I have a lot of um, allergies, so that's what you're hearing. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, um, I do have good news for you. I do feel like a lot of us are going to come out of this looking a hot mess. That's what we already know. That's not a prediction. That's the facts. <laughs> that's the truth. Um, a lot of us are going to need to be rushing at our facials, our manis, our petties, and our hair did. And I'm just kind of throwing in a little bit of humor, guys. But that is like something that I see definitely happening. Okay, but getting into seriousness, I do feel like certain parts of the country are going to be reopened in May. Now, the thing is that there are certain hot spots who may not be entirely open. And I'm not just talking about the USA, but also the worldwide. There could be other areas and local governments, uh, local state governments that make decisions or precincts or, you know, parishes, things like that that make the determination on how we, we go forward, moving forward, opening up. I do still feel like there will still be the six feet apart from the other person. And some places may require you to wear masks um, when you're out in the public. So I don't feel like that's going to entirely change um, through the months of May. But I do feel like we're going to start seeing the economy kind of reviving, resuscitating, resurrecting. There is a resurrection here. People are coming up and um, are going to be happier that they are going back to some kind of job. And some people are not going to go back to some jobs. I do see that F4C that there is going to be some struggle still with a lot of small businesses and larger companies who may have been forced to kind of close permanently um, and maybe not reopen until they get some kind of funding um, and relief for their payroll, relief for their employees. So there's going to be a lot of different questions and things that that um, that are going to be happening. But I do see parts of the nation actually reopening. I feel like many people um, are going to feel like their hands are tied right now. A lot of people are debating, should I stay on unemployment? Because the thing here is, is that a lot of people live in this kind of sense of entitlement. But in unemployment, it may be nice for a while, but a lot of people want to go back to work because unemployment, the thing is, the longer that you're on it, it's the harder to get a job after you're out of unemployment. I think a lot of people don't realize that, but if you've ever worked in HR or you've ever worked as an administrative assistant for an HR, like I did, um, department or uh, in that kind of field, or even, even been in interviews, you'll know that a lot of employers that do screening or HR departments, they look at people who have been unemployed or they have had an employment gap. Of course, you know, we're going to take into the account the coronavirus. But the thing is here, people, is that if your job opens up, I don't care how miserable you were, you should go back to it. Because the thing is here that that unemployment, I feel like there's going to be some stipulations and they're going to start making some cuts there. There's going to be some cuts in different funding um, in the government uh, for this whole cor coronavirus um, 
but there's also going to be new developments, new vaccines that are coming out. Now, I've been very adamant on my uh, Instagram channel. In fact, today I posted a, a meme, which that's all it was, is a meme. And I want to just clarify and talk about that in a moment because I feel like it's very necessary. Some people took it the wrong way. Um, and my four vaccines, for those of you that are my rays of light and have been here on my channel, I was vaccinated as a child, yes. But as an adult, I have stopped getting all vaccines vaccinations from the age 32. I'm 37 now. So I have not gotten any vaccinations. And I don't push that on anybody. I really believe that we're all adults and we all can make our own judgment and our decisions. Now, me posting a funny meme and I said, say no to vaccinations. I can understand how some people would be triggered by that. But if you're triggered by that, um, or you are in the nursing community or, you know, you're pro vaccine. You have to understand that that's my opinion. That's my insight. And we are all entitled to our own opinions and our own insight. Don't get triggered by the message. OK, don't get triggered by something that you don't agree. And that's the problem with our society is that. A lot of this has happened is because a lot of people are rooted in their darkness and they don't want other people to express their opinion. They believe their opinion is a popular belief and that everybody else should follow suit. But a lot of people that are spiritually awakened um, can see the, the harm that some vaccines um, that are new can do. Now, am I saying that all vaccines are bad? No, not all vaccines are bad. You know, there are there's like the pneumonia vaccine and there's other vaccines out there that may not be bad, but I'm not for vaccines, period, period, poo on my channel. You know, I, I don't um, like the vaccines and the reason behind this, I guess I have to kind of explain because a lot of people don't really know, but I got really, really sick um, in 2012 when I had my um, sorry, not 2012, 2014 when I had my. Well, 13, 2013 at the end, right before I had my um, near death experience. And I do feel like on some level that the vaccine contributed to my immune system and my body having this heart attack that I had. Um, is there any scientific proof? No, I can't really say for sure. That is speculation on my part. That's spiritual insight on my part. People can call it speculation, spiritual insight, etc. But I know that I was extremely sick for a long period of time and it triggered a lot of anxiety and pain panic attacks as well. So for me personally, no, I'm not going to ever go back and get vaccinations. But if that's your cup of tea, I'm not going to stand against you. I'm not going to go onto your page and, and crucify you. Like if this was the witch trials again of the 1600s, you know, like this was Salem again, because that's just not cool. That's not, you know, that's not who I am. And I believe in that you know, we can all have our own opinions and beliefs and we don't have to push that on there. Some people were so triggered as to unfollow me um, or say that I was, you know, this and this and this or that. But the, the fact of the matter is that I am always going to speak the truth. I'm always going to speak what I feel. And if people have a problem with that, well, they know where the unfollow button is. You know, why take time in your energy and waste it on commenting on my page to see if you could sway me to change my way of thinking that's not going to happen you know i'm always i'm a firm believer that i can learn from other people and that um there are teachers out there that can teach me things but there are certain core beliefs and principles that i have that are never going to change because of you know somebody else's way of being or thinking that you know vaccinations are the key for everything okay so um, going back to the predictions, um, I just had to talk about that. Um, I do feel like there is going to be some more um, potential stimulus, maybe something else, another program, maybe at the state governments in certain states, it's rolled out. But then by summer, we're going to see like a lot more people people thriving as far as travel is concerned i feel like they may start lifting some of the international traveling in may as well we may start seeing but again if, if there will be some certain precautions certain testing that that takes place before you can actually go or come back into the usa so i do see a lot of that i see a lot more turmoil happening in china um with the usa and other countries like there's going to be a lot of back and forth back and forth volatile volatile energy is what i feel um i do feel like there's going to be some some more 
uh, news that has been hidden about the virus that surfaces. Um, there's going to be more information about 5G. We're going to be getting a lot of this, these universal downloads through the month of May. And I think it's very important for us to, to actually receive that information because it's going to help us to awaken us more to what is happening in the universe. Um, I do feel like there is going to be some um, people that um, are going to kind of start looking for scandals um, around Trump, around um, the government as we get closer and closer to re-election uh, or to, to the election point. But people that have asked me, like, when is the virus going to go away? People want to know, when is this virus going to go away? The thing is that I don't see it going away immediately, but it will go away like I feel like by summertime, we'll start seeing by the end of summer into fall, things are going to start tapering off. Just like Sylvia Brown, like I've said before, I believe in her gift. I believed, I, I believe in her predictions. And like she said, it would come in, the virus would come in, and then it would leave as quickly as it came in. And that's what I feel. I do feel like by the fall, we're going to kind of be back to normal. There will be other strains. Of course, that virus may resurface again in the world later on. But the flu, you know, is always going to be here. But the fact is, I feel like there's going to be a lot more precautions taken and people are not going to be so quick to just go back to not washing their hands, to not wearing a mask. I feel like that may be kind of like a norm, a norm um, when you are in large groups or gatherings, um, again, in hot spots like New York City and the subways and the way that subways are sanitized and clean, uh, cleansed, you know, around the world or Amtrak trains and these forms of communication. I feel like there's going to be a lot of different protocols. Hospitals are going to see different protocols on how to approach viruses and pandemics. There's going to be more training, more education. I would not even put it past it that there would be some kind of course that is also um, driven and trickled down into the high school into the educational systems to educate future generations on pandemics and um, there will be more like I said more news about China and the underhanded things that they've done with this virus and a lot of that that thing will they be held accountable I don't know to this point if they're going to be held accountable for uh, unleashing this you know like for them contributing, having a hand at this. But I feel like this goes deeper than what we all know. I do feel like there are other local, there are other governments, not local, but other governments around the world that have kind of uh, know about and maybe supported what China did. And we're not going to know that until later. There's going to be some truth bombs that kind of come out. Um, some more like information that's dropped and we see it and we're like, oh my God. I never thought that that could happen, right? Another thing that I feel like we need to be careful is the mental state. Um, I recently, I didn't want to talk about this because um, I have a lot of prophetic dreams sometimes and I don't understand like sometimes why I get to see a lot of those things I, because spirit doesn't always like when I have dreams, doesn't show me a location or whatnot. But for those people that may be reopening schools, you know, in the fall, I feel like they need to be very cautious as we go back as a society and we open up organizations and things because there's a lot of unstable people right now. This whole pandemic um, cleansed and purified and stripped the veils of illusion for a lot of people. But at the same time, a lot of people are not okay, people. Okay, listen to me. There are a lot of people right now are not okay from what they have actually experienced. So, as I said, I, I feel like there is going to be a lot of people, um, very unstable energy that we're going to see um, as we go back and people open open their businesses back. A lot of this is created like I, I want you to understand. Listen to me now when I say that this has created a lot of PTSD. It has created a lot of instability in the minds and the hearts of many people. Some people are never going to recover from this. They're going to suffer nightmares. They're going to be kind of stressed out bipolar schizophrenic this has created a whole new world a whole new energy so the one thing that i had recently was that there was a dream that i had in which i saw it looked like kind of like a school um and there were some people that had come in dressed in what seemed to be like um 
uniforms. I don't know. They were like white uniforms head to toe. And they were like, this school had like two or three tiers on it, right? Uh, and it was uh, late in the, it, le it looked like it was late in the evening. And there may have been some kind of ceremony. I don't know. But this is what I kept seeing is a lot of the kids that were there in the school were just running. And it was very scary when I woke up from it because in the dream, I saw these men coming in and they were tasing people. Um, I don't know if they were shooting people, but they were tasing people from what I could see in the vision in this dream which I felt was kind of prophetic it could have been shooting it could have been tasing I'm not sure I felt like it was tasing but it could have been something else like I said I feel like we're going to see a lot of that in the world a lot of as, as schools go back in there's a lot of kids that are, um, are not coping well being self-isolated they need people to kind of stay stable um, a lot of people that have been infected with the coronavirus and have recovered may also be experiencing some of this because the virus does something that scientists haven't really discovered or talked about that I get from spirit, which is it disrupts the nervous system. And there are things that can happen uh, months and years later after an infected person recovers where neuro neurologically speaking, and again, I'm not a doctor to diagnose or to make these um you know, and say that this is for a fact. This is just my spiritual insight. You can take it or leave it. You know, take it with a grain of salt or just hold on to it. But sooner or later, I feel like there's going to be some studies that people that were infected with the coronavirus actually had something change in their metabolism, change at the neurological level. And this is, affects other people. And there's going to be some findings. It may not be in the month of May, but we will get to see this uh later on and it's something to look at but there what i'm trying to get back and pull the whole message so it's cohesive is to be careful be vigilant and when you are out there again in the malls when you're out there in the businesses in the stores and when you're back in the schools be careful because there's a lot of people that are coming back that are not the same they are not psychologically well they are not spiritually well there's a lot of pent-up anger and frustration and they're not sure why they're acting out but this is all going back to 5g to what has been rolling out during this pandemic what has been rolling out over the past couple of months 5g and the correlation between that and how it affects the human mind okay and how it affects people's emotions there's a lot of instability and i saw that vision and i saw that in my dream i call it a, a vision because it was in a dream but it was so lucid and when i woke up from it i was um just my heart was racing i was like i was like sick for a few minutes and i had to recollect myself and this happened like a couple of days ago and i debated whether or not i should even talk about this here but if i can help some you know group of people out there um to be vigilant in the dream, I don't remember seeing casualties, but I saw people falling down because they were either avoiding these tasers or these guns, whatever it was. But it was it was crazy. OK, I see a lot of political uh, and I don't like to talk about political stuff, but I see a lot of uh, uproar in the political um arena there's going to be a lot of shocks and surprises as we get into the summer months. But in May, we're going to start seeing some of this kind of being exposed for what it is a lot of lies that are going to be from one party to the next um kind of you know the the Re democrats taking jabs at the republicans the republicans going back and and defending themselves and then taking jabs at the democrats uh the Demo democrats <laughs> i said democrats um it's funny but um Yes, but there is going to be a lot of that going on. People, like I said, going back to the stimulus, to the economy, to Wall Street. Like people have asked me, what do I see with digital cryptocurrency? I feel like a lot of that is going to start coming back. Um, I don't follow like investments on Wall Street and, and all of that stock. But I can tell you from what Spirit is telling me that I do feel like it, by summer, we're going to see a lot of things kind of going back and flourishing. Be aware that there is going to be um, a lot of false news spread on the on the TV and on internet, social media, but it's going to be mainly TV channels and stuff. There's a lot of people that are trying to 
to spread fake news that is about fear so that we stay trapped, you know, longer inside of our homes. Now, a lot of people don't agree, but I do feel like it will be safe. Like we get into um, the summertime and that's what spirit tells me, you know, and I have to trust and believe what they tell me that it is right. So again, I feel like by the summer months, we're going to start being back in, in the normal, normal, you know, normality and stuff. We will have the rest of the year to kind of like breathe and um, and still celebrate, but still be cautious, you know, and um, avoid large groups for the remainder of the year if you can. But if you can't, I feel like it's going to be OK. Like, I, I honestly feel like it is a lot of people that are listening to this that are probably in that are from New Orleans or New York may not agree with me. And I understand because these are the epicenters or people that are in Italy listening. But I feel like we are more we're having control over it. A lot of our prayers are need to continue to happen from here until May 1st. We need to continue to be pray war, uh, war, um, pray, <laughs> prayer warriors, pray warriors, or whatever you want to say, warriors of prayer. We need to continue to be spiritual badasses and pray this virus to be gone to be demolished. It affects a lot of people. Um, it affects our economy. And so um, yeah, we need to continue to, to do that. Um, I do feel like the, the boycotts and stuff, the riots that I saw may get come closer to the election time, but I still feel that it may not be on, on a global scale, but it may be like certain cities that are boycotting or doing this kind of stuff, you know, to support one party or the next. Um, as far as, um, I guess, let me see what else I need to cover here. Um, as far as, uh, people's jobs, um, that are, you know, struggling and whatnot. I feel like there's going to be some new announcements and things like of that nature that we're going to receive in the month of May. There may be some, some more money coming down from the government to help other people. But like I said, if you can go back to a job, go back to a job. Listen to me. Like a lot of people didn't listen to me when I said about traveling like this year when I had done the Kobe Bryant reading and I had said, don't, I don't, you know, spirit said, don't, for, for, for me not to travel for the remainder of the year and I didn't advise anyone to travel on an airplane if they had to but a lot of people didn't listen they thought it was just like crazy and then look what happened with the coronavirus so my message to you is I feel like um you can travel if you have plans and stuff like that, vacation plans for June, July, but be aware there may be some restrictions or some things that you have to be aware of and things that you have to do to take precaution. And I feel like it's going to be okay if you do travel, uh, if they start reopening international travel, like I said, but be very aware that other countries may not be like the USA, you know, in battling this and other, other places uh, may still have some outbreaks here and there. But um, stay vigilant, wash your hands, listen to your, um, listen to, you know, to um, announcements still. Like, even though I'm against the news, you know, ever once in a while, look at your local newspaper. Like, follow more of your local news, the ones that you can trust, that you know, you know, follow your, your mayors uh, or your um your local county precinct or uh, county commissioners whatever you have in your city listen to that locally um so that you are aware or to your state news listen to that rather than the national you know like cnn basically um so i want to wish you all um uh, many many blessings i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for being here again if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button um like share comment uh, below and um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram I really would like for you to follow me because I have a lot of things that I post on Instagram a lot of um, other things that I don't post on my YouTube channel that I think it would be very beneficial for you guys to um, to take part of like especially like the giveaways and things like that that I only post on Instagram so um, blessings and love and light have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world until next time bye